We are in the Christmas crafting season and my studio is filled with tons of Christmas crafts that I want to share with you. Let's get started. On my way to Dollar Tree this chilly morning to find something new to craft with and I found these beautiful fluffy cozy socks that I knew I wanted to bring home. So I bought several pairs and I am going to start with this foam board from Dollar Tree. It is just a piece of one. I'm going to freehand what looks like a boot and I am going to use my blade knife to cut it out. Once I cut it out, I am going to kind of round off the edges just a little bit so they're not so pointy and square. This blade knife, by the way, I got it very recently and I am loving it. It has this great handle, great way to hold it and is so sharp. I do have it in my Amazon store if you want to check it out. Once I had the boot nice and done, I'm going to take one of the socks and I'm just going to just put it right over the foam board. This is going to give me that more Christmassy feel, cozy feel, and we're going to make a Christmas stocking. So once I have it in place, I'm just going to pull it in different places just to make sure it is where I want it. Then I'm going to cut off the excess from the top and I'm going to hot glue it so that it is seamless on top. Of course, I want to add something fluffy and cozy to the top of the stocking. So I am going to use a piece of this dusting mop from Dollar Tree that I already had on hand from another project. I'm going to hot glue it one end it's to the other. Outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night. I do want to add some embellishments just to make it a little bit more festive. So I'm going to add these greenery. One is from Amazon. The other one is from Dollar Tree. Just a small little pieces here and there. And then I thought I needed something, just some color. So I am going to add one of these bells from Dollar Tree. I love these this year. And I'm just going to hot glue it right in the center. And then I'm going to add one little pine cone again just to add some texture and color. And I got to say, I love this stocking. And it's so inexpensive. Anyone can make this this Christmas season. The first for you and me. The snow is falling down. For the next Dollar Tree hack, I am going to take these two stockings. These are from a leftover project I did several weeks ago. I'm going to cut off some pieces. They're about maybe two and a half inches thick give or take and then I'm going to open them up so that I have some longer strips and I do remind you that if you have not subscribed to my channel yet I would love for you to do so and hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of the content once I have all the strips cut out I am going to then take this candy cane wreath form from the Dollar Tree I actually had it from last year and I had it left over in my stash and I'm just going to start wrapping it around with the pieces of stocking. The first one is very important. I want to make sure that it's wrapped up nice and neat so it doesn't look crazy. And then I'm just going to start wrapping it around. And I'm going to make sure that all the seams are on the back of the wreath. I also want to remind you that I have an Etsy shop, which I add new products all the time. If you want to check it out, it is linked down in the description box. I have recently added some really cute tote bags for fall and Christmas. I love to hear what you think of them. Again, it is linked down below. All right, so I am almost done wrapping it up. And of course, at the end, you just want to make sure that you hot glue it and keep it as neat as possible. So then I'm going to clear off just a little bit of the flapping ends on the back of it, just so that it looks a little bit more neat and professional, because I do want to sell this at a craft show that I'll be working here shortly. So I'm going to take these little bead garlands that I got. I think it was in the fall season, but I think they work well for Christmas as well. So I'm going to wrap it around. It is wired, so it's really easy to work with. I'm going to wrap it around from the top to the bottom, making sure that I secure it in the back by twisting it. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, spend my time running around keeping people pleased. And once again, I'm just going to add some embellishments, some greenery from Amazon, some from Dollar Tree, just to add more festive texture to it. And I'm going to add one of these little picks that has like a clip in the back. I'm just going to remove the pick and then I am just going to hot glue it right in the center. This is an easy way to really make that pick just seem a lot more grand and high end. I love this. I love this wreath. It's so festive, so cozy, and it will look great either indoors or outdoors on the door.
For the next Dollar Tree hack, I am going to take a piece of stocking. Once again, this is going to be kind of like the top portion of the sock. It was already used. It's open on both ends. I am going to flip it inside out and tie one end very tightly with some baker's twine, but you can use whatever you have on hand. Then I'm going to cut off the excess fabric just so that it is smaller. Then I'm going to flip it right back in. And then we are going to add some stones. These white stones, I already had a hand, but you can add anything. You can even add whatever you have that maybe add some weight to the sock because we are creating a little snowman. Once I had the rocks in, I'm going to add some pillow stuffing to the bottom. We're going to make the bottom nice and fluffy. <laughs> Once I had it, I kind of just pounded it and just packing it in. I'm going to take some more of that baker's twine tied in a knot. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the top. I'm just going to add some pillow stuffing, no rocks this time. And then I'm going to tie it once again with some more of that baker's twine. And then I decided to hot glue both balls. So the top and the bottom, just hot glue it together so it kind of stays a little bit more sturdy. And then it's time to add some buttons. So I'm going to add these two little buttons. I have a smaller one and a larger one. I'm going to place a smaller one on top and a larger one on the bottom. And then, of course, it needs a little scarf. So I am going to use some ribbon that I had on hand. This is a farmhouse truck ribbon. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot. Keep it really, really simple. And I am going to add some embellishments just to add some greenery and some festive details. This little pick is from Dollar Tree and I'm going to add a little pine cone and that's it for this one. What a fun craft to do, even with grandkids or your children. I think it would be so much fun to do. It's festive. It's cute and cozy. I love it. For the next Dollar Tree hack, I'm going to take this ornament that I actually removed a bell from it. It had a cute little white bell and I used it for a different DIY. I'm going to remove the whole decor from it and then I'm going to take another piece of sock and I'm going to cut it round and around until I have a long strip. And it's not going to be even, it's not going to look pretty, but it's all going to come together. I'm going to hot glue one end to the ornament and then I'm just going to wrap it around almost like a candy cane look. Friends, if you are enjoying this video, I would love for you to take a second and just give me a thumbs up. Giving me a thumbs up on this video, it would help to reach more people and it just helps my channel grow and I would just appreciate it. So I'm about done wrapping it up and I'm just going to hot glue the last end there. And then I'm going to try to find the end that looks just not as neat. And that's going to be my top portion. I'm going to use some of that same baker's twine. I'm just going to tie it in a knot. It kind of disappears within the same decor anyways. And I'm going to tie it in a knot. And that's the way we can hang the ornament. And again, I'm going to add some embellishment. These are little picks from a pick from a Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to add a little bow. I just thought it just needed a little something to give it a little bit more festive look. This Merry Christmas ribbon is from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to make a very simple bow tie it in the center fluff it as needed and then i am going to hot glue it right in the center again this is just going to add a little bit more detail and character then i'm going to add a couple extra little things like a little pine cone and a little berry from dollar tree and then that's it i think it's this one just kind of turned out super cute but is it me or does it look like one of those like lifeguard you know what i'm talking about that they can throw in the water <laughs> But it's festive and it's cute and I like it. Well, you're going to have to let me know what you think. For the next Dollar Tree hack, I'm going to take this mug. I thought it's gorgeous. I thought it would make a very cute gift for either a teacher or just a relative. I'm going to roll up one of the pair of socks and I'm just going to place it right inside. And then I'm going to take one of these hot chocolate packs that you can find at Dollar Tree and I'm going to place it right in the back. And then I'm going to take an ornament. I thought it would be really cute to include an ornament from Dollar Tree that they can use in their Christmas decor. And then I thought it needed a little bit more color and texture. So I'm going to add one of these Amazon evergreen picks and a little pine cone to finish off what it would be a very cute little gift again for either a family member or friend or even a teacher. How cute would this be? And the kids can help do it for them i just think it's adorable
This next Dollar Tree hack is one I actually did recently in another video, but I thought I'd include it in this one because I did use the same socks. So first I'm gonna take two of these little trees from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna fluff them up, leaving one end just flat. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one because we are going to join them together using some zip ties. We are going to create a very cute gnome. So we are going to join them. I am going to remove the base from it. And then I am going to, again, just join both trees using some it's zip ties. Cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I and then once I had them nice and secure, I am going to fluff up what will be the beard <laughs> of the gnome just to make sure that it looks like one tree, one arrangement. Now I'm going to take this little gnome that you can find at Dollar Tree. I am going to remove the beard portion and it's very soft plastic so you can even use your scissors but I am using my wire cutters and it made it very easily. So once I had it removed, then I'm just going to have the top portion of the head as well as the nose and it worked out really well so once i had it in place i am going to cover the hat with one of the socks i'm just going to cut off the top portion open it up and slide it right into the hat i am going to hot glue it to the bottom of the hat and then i am going to tie the top with some jute string Tomorrow it is christmas the first for you and me the snow is falling down storm is on its way but as long as you're around everything will be okay because all i want to do is spend this holiday with you i am now going to just attach it to the trees which will now be the beard i think it looks so cute i'm going to grab another zip tie to secure the hat to the beard and i'm just going to thread it through the sock all the way through the plastic portion, but I'm gonna ensure that it doesn't go through on the other side because that way you don't see it. And then I had it to tighten it up and that's it. Now I'm going to add one of these Christmas bulbs. This is just gonna add some texture and color to the top of the hat. I'm gonna remove the little portion from it as well as the excess part there and just hot glue it. It was sufficient. It is nice and light. These pigs are from Dollar Tree. They have a great selection at Dollar Tree currently. I'm just going to grab a couple of the branches from it and I'm going to hot glue it right underneath that bulb just to again add some texture and color to it. Now I felt like something was missing for the hat of the gnome so I am going to take a piece of um, that dusting mop again. I'm just going to cut it long ways and I just thought it would add a lot of coziness and a lot of texture and I'm just going to hot glue it right above the nose around the rim of the bottom of the hat. Friends, I would also would love to connect with you on Instagram and Facebook. So if you want to connect with me there, check out the links that I have down below in the description box and make sure you say hi when you're there. I am also going to add some lights. I get these little fairy lights on Amazon and I do have them on my Amazon store. So if you want to check them out, it is also linked down in the description box. I'm going to hot glue the little battery pack on the back of the hat. And then I'm just going to thread through the lights in and out of the beard. I am going to sell this on a craft show that I'm coming re uh, shortly. And I am want to just add some lights. I think anything that's lit up and has lights really sell a lot quicker. I love this little gnome. I was a hit when the video that I posted it. But I wanted to include it because I think that hat with the sock just looks so adorable. But I would love to know which one is your favorite. Let me know down in the comments. I'm also going to have another video here for you to watch just click on this thumbnail and there's going to be tons more of inspiration there for you i am so grateful for you watching have fun creating have a blessed day bye the first for you and me another year went by but the day